Day Merchandise Show, Demo Day, the world's largest demo day. We got a lot of cool stuff to talk to you guys about. Let's go. First booth of the day, Shrixon. Let's go check it out. Get to walk through this pretty cool looking arch. And we got all their new arch, stuff kind of here. Into one set of irons. So the long irons are going to have our mainframe AI faces to maximize that distance. While your short irons are going to have zip core technology to maximize that spin and overall forgiveness consistency potential. So essentially the iron set's designed to um, ensure that no matter which part of the set you're playing, it's got the technologies that are designed for what that iron is supposed to do. You don't need as much distance technology in your pitching wedge as you do in your four iron, for example. Um, they're also just gorgeously designed with uh, long blade lengths to get a minimal amount of offset and overall um, non-off-putting profile that's going to be, um, for a wide range of players, really uh, appealing at a dress. So you're going to get that maximum forgiveness potential within a package that, um, in the middle of the market, should really be a, um, a really uh, you know, overall accepted iron. So we're really excited about the Zipcore XL iron. It's also feature our Hydra Zip technology throughout the set for that consistent spin performance. Um, and overall, a great forgiveness offering for a wide range of people. All right, so here I am actually hitting some of these zip core irons and kind of my first thought was I really like the way that they they uh, the ball came off more than anything. Uh, the sound, you know, to be honest, it could have been a little bit better, but the performance was really good. The balls flew the the way that I wanted them to miss hits. I was hitting most of these really thin, which tends to be my miss. Uh, miss hits seem to be going pretty well. Unfortunately, we didn't have any kind of launch monitor or anything like that with it. But uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with these uh, Zipcor XL irons. One of the things that really concerned me when I was reading about these when I first started uh, looking at these when I first started hearing about these was that they were going to look pretty game improvement-y. They were going to be big, chunky irons with these huge top lines. And to be honest, they didn't look that bad. I actually was pretty impressed with how these clubs looked. Now, some of the negatives with these, to be honest with you, they weren't the best feeling iron in the world. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. Uh, there are definitely better feeling irons out there. But these, out at Demo Day, this was the first booth I visited Pretty point and click here. Um, you'll see, wasn't taking huge divots. Like I said, I was catching a lot of things thin. Uh, first first uh, visit of the day, wasn't quite warmed up. But overall, pretty happy with these. I think these are going to be a great option for a lot of players. Uh, hopefully, Cleveland can get past the idea that they are, you know, kind of an old man club or uh, a club that better players won't use. I think if you are a better player, that these may be great for you as a driving iron. But most people who play golf on a day-to-day -day basis, you're going to get pretty good value with these in terms of the feel, the performance, um, and the price. These are going to be a really nice price point for a lot of people. So that's my thoughts on the Zipcor XL irons from Demo Day. Why don't we move on to uh, some of their woods and, uh, and putters. Full face irons from Cleveland Golf are an industry first full face designed iron. So, for players who might strike a little bit inconsistently across the face, you're going to be getting maximum performance potential out of all of these clubs. So, with our mainframe face technology, um, which is a variable face design on each one of these, uh, ball speed is going to be maximized no matter where you strike the ball, but also that spin and performance with the full face grooves are going to be um, consistently applied throughout the set. So, this hybrid iron design is also going to be maximizing overall forgiveness and height on um, all launches. So lowering that center of gravity for maximum forgiveness and um, higher launching potential for a player who really likely struggles with their iron game. Also featuring sole rails throughout the set that transition um, to maximize that turf interaction potential and reduce digging overall um, as a iron line set. Brand new Launcher XL2 driver from Cleveland Golf. Um, basically took what last generation was already a very forgiving driver and added more forgiveness. Uh, this time around we've got the brand new mainframe XL face technology, which is going to be our AI face design that's going to be maximizing ball speed on all strikes, but also allowing us to position more mass um, with our mainframe simulations low and deep to 
I mean, sure that we get that forgiveness characteristics, you know, no matter where you're hitting the ball and all the way throughout the club head. So being offered in a standard and a draw model, um, both adjustable this time around, um, being offered in 9.0, 10.5, and 12.0 degree lofts. So it's a beautiful upgrade from what already was a very uh, forgiving driver and uh, really excited for uh, 2024 with the offset driver. And here I am hitting the uh, Cleveland XL2 driver, and the first thought I had was hit the ball pretty high with it, um, but it did go straight, so super forgiving uh, when it comes to left-right dispersion, but I did hit it high, did feel a little short. Um, again, no, um, no kind of launch monitor or anything like that, just kind of basing off what it felt like, but overall, wasn't too bad. Uh, my big complaint was the sound. If Cleveland can really figure the sound out of this driver, it's going to be really good. The problem is right now it's going to require some hot melt or something like that to really get the sound where it needs to be. It's kind of loud. And I just wonder if there are going to be players who should play this who aren't going to because of the sound. So it's going to be interesting to see how this does in various testings with uh, with with various people. So I think it's a good driver. I think it performs pretty well for its target market. I may not be that target market with this driver, um, but overall, not too bad. But the Halo XL Woods here. So with this system, we've got Fairway Woods, Hybrids, and Highwood, which is sort of a combination of a Fairway Wood and a Hybrid, to try to get um, players into the right club for their um, for their game. So all of our clubs are going to be featuring our Glide Rail technology, which are these visual sole rails that are really going to help consistency through turf, both maximizing that um, accuracy as well as uh, club head speed. So if you strike a little bit behind the ball, these rails are going to make sure that your club doesn't dig, and you're going to be still getting that distance that you're looking for. Um, with this offering, we've got these extra large forgiving chassis um, all the way through the set. With the um, fairy woods being the largest, the high woods being smaller, and the high woods um, being somewhere in between. So, what the high wood really is is a combination of um, what's best about a hybrid, right? That consistency, that more iron like swing, but with a little bit of added distance, um, with a little bit of a longer build to replace something like a three wood that a player might be struggling with. So, for players that are better with their hybrids, but don't want to lose the same distance that you would get by just playing all the way down to maybe a three hybrid or a four hybrid, um, high wood's going to be a great option to replace your fairway wood um, with something more distance oriented for your game and now offered in a three plus and a four plus block for more options for players all right so this right here is me hitting the cleveland three plus high wood um and let me tell you this thing is awesome legitimately one of my favorite things that i saw out at demo day i think what they're doing with their um full bag fittings or, or um, long club fittings I think is really genius and I really think that this club could go in a lot of people's bags uh, launch is high launch is easy landed soft um, wasn't hitting onto a green so it'll probably land even softer just a beautiful 205 club for somebody uh, like me um, at my home course here in uh, in the Dallas area the course that I play the most, there is a par 3 that is roughly 200, 205 um, and all the trouble on it is uh, long and to the right or the left. Um, so short's not a bad place to go. This club right here is going to carry enough to, would be the perfect club for this hole. When hit perfectly, it's going to land middle to the back of the really long green. And uh, if it's miss hit, it's going to land a little short, maybe kick up onto the green or be in that really safe area. It was so point and click. This club is going to be effective for a lot of guys out there. So if you even think about hitting a club that you need something at the top end of the bag, I highly recommend you at least check out this Highwood. Me personally, I prefer um, lower lofted hybrids rather than higher lofted fairway woods. So I actually carry a uh, 19 degree hybrid a lot of people would carry a five wood there i prefer the look of a hybrid i prefer the more iron swing of a hybrid so the high wood gives me the combination of the fairway wood distance but it gives me that nice hybrid feel to it 
Uh, yeah, this is our Halo XL long game fitting system. So um, at accounts, we're going to have parts that are filled with um, both high woods, fairy woods, and hybrids, all color coded easily to label um, the flexes, as well as the type of club in each model. So we're really trying to put players into the right type of clubs for their game. Um, whether it's you've got an iron type swing and you're more comfortable with hybrids, so get more of those hybrids in your bag. Or if you're more comfortable with fairy woods and a sweeping more driver type swing, um, let's get more fairy woods in your bag. Um, we're really trying to, at fitting accounts and online, make this an easy buying selection process. Um, so with the Halo XL system, we're also going to have a uh, online selector. So at HaloXL.com, you're going to be able to go through a quiz and get the right type of accounts for your game, um, gapping properly with what irons you should be replacing. Um, both from a what's best fit for your game and what's the best gaps for your sweep, swing speed and overall performance. Um, so along with that and a uh, distance calculator, we're trying to give you as many resources as possible to make that um, buying decision, whether it's you're struggling with a 5-iron or 6-iron or a fairway wood. Um, figuring out what's the best to replace that club in your bag with is something we understand is tricky for many players and uh, we're trying to make it as easy as possible with a long game fitting system tailor. So this is the new CBX4 Zip Core. Um, it's our sort of game improvement offering in the overall line. Um, we're really looking to give a wedge that's a blend of forgiveness and sort of premium versatility um, all in one. So for players looking for a little bit more consistency in their short game, right? The CBX4 is of course really going to be the best option there. Um, a little bit of a um, wider sole than say your RTX line. Um, we've got this leading edge bounce chamfer that's going to be a new addition this time around that's going to be adding um, a little bit of bounce to that leading edge, reducing the digging through the turf and overall creating a more consistent contact for a player who likely struggles laying the sod over the ball every once in a while, right? Um, the new Steve Explorer is also going to be upgraded with a little bit more forgiveness than in the past and a more premium cosmetic. So I'm um, really making sure that um, players who might not have played a cavity back wedge in the past, but probably should for their game, aren't going to feel much hesitation about putting these beauties in the bag. Um, it's going to be offered from 44 to 60 and is going to be a set that really is designed to transition well from whatever irons you're coming from. So your gap wedges are going to be more iron-like in design and really transition well to the set. And then moving up through your sand wedges and lomb wedges are going to become a little bit more wedge-like in what you traditionally find in a off-the-shelf wedge. Version offers full face grooves as well as a new leading edge bounce chamfer to maximize forgiveness for a player who's likely going to be striking the ball over the face. Um, the lofts are going to be variable um, with the 58 being the sand wedge, maximizing that ability for players to get out of bunkers extremely easily. Um, with the lob wedge being all the way up to a brand new 64 degrees um, for a player who's looking to be able to hit a flop shot and never has had success in the past um, but not have to worry about opening up the face or anything like that. Um, the new Smart Soul Lob Wedge is going to be a great um, addition to their arsenal there. So we really see the Smart Soul Wedges as a complete wedge system for a player who wants an easy short game. So whatever you might find yourself greenside, if it's a position with a lot of green to work with, we've got the chipper that's going to be you know, a great option um, at a little bit of a longer length than last generation to um, maximize consistent performance there um, with the sand wedge being your sand option, um, you know, 50 to 80 yards, we've got a gap wedge offering that's more designed for those full swings as well as some chipping around the green. Um, and then the lob wedge for when you're finding yourself with a tucked pin. Um, for a player who's never been able to hit a flop shot before, having a club that you can go straight back, straight forward, and be able to actually one hop stop on the green um, is really a game changer. So we're really excited about the new Smart Soul series of wedges and um, have had a lot of success um, with players in early testing and or the line of cutters uh, yeah, it's a brand new offering here from Dunlop Sports Americas and we're really excited to introduce a putter line that is 100% milled um, with adjustable weights but it also comes with a fitting system to ensure that all players are going to be getting the right length putter for their game so here's so with the weights in it um, so all of these models are going to be offered um, uncut ungripped at most accounts um, to sort of facilitate an overall custom building and fitting process. So with Never Compromise, you're going to get fit to the proper length, um, the proper weights of putters, the proper grip for your swing type and um, overall hand size, and then into an overall model that's designed, um, customized for your game specifically. With the line, we have two different finishes, the Never Compromise Contrast, as well as the four satin finish, and four models um, with one having two to hang options. So um, a couple of blades and three mallets. Yeah, uh, that, to, that's a five model total. Yeah, you can model do like on our four. So the Never Compromise offerings are an exciting new premium putter from Dunlop Sports.
Yes. And we're excited. God, you have extra weights in it. Um, They say nothing feels like a Mizuno. Let's head into the booth and find out. Mizuno booth right now, and we have hey guys, the new. Wait, hold on, put it back. We have the new STZ driver. Kind of cool. White crown looks really, really nice. Um, really nice looking club. We got the ST Max right here. You can see that cool kind of carbon crown here. Weight in the back, gonna help with launch spin, that kind of stuff. And then finally. You know, when we talk Mizuno, what do we talk? We talk iron. So we got the 2-4 series here. So you got the 2-4-1, the blade. Um, not really for me. A little bit uh, a little bit too hard to hit. And then you have the 2-4-3. And you'll actually see me hit some of those. Really, really great feeling club. No surprise. It is a Mizuno after all. Feels great. Um, and then the 2-4-5, kind of the hollow body. Uh, feels really good as well. Looking at them. I really like that 243. That 243 looks looks the best, um, and it's a really nice looking and feeling club. Kind of looks like a uh, a previous model that they came out with, but overall looks really good, feels really good. No surprises. It is Mizuno after all when it comes to uh, just beautiful, beautiful irons. 2024 is going to do the same for Mizuno this year. And boy, was I not wrong. These irons right here, the 24 series just just incredible here i am just hitting them performance wise there were easier to hit irons right the the cleveland zipcore xls were much easier to hit right if i hit those and i miss hit them a little bit still got good distance if you miss hit these mizunos uh they don't quite go as far as the cleveland's or something like that but man there's something about these irons that just are different they just feel different they just sound different they just there's nothing like hitting a pure mizuno iron there's just no feeling in golf like it they feel so good these mizunos are no different looking down at them they're perfect they're they're just everything about them is wonderful um the way they interact with the turf perfect the way they pretty much do everything is uh, exactly what you want from an iron the only problem is you better hit it out of the middle. I caught a lot of these uh, thin. I told you guys earlier that that was kind of what I was doing most of the day was hitting it a little thin. Um, wasn't quite warmed up. This was the second booth I visited. Um, and, and really a demo day. It's it's a little difficult because you're going you're on one end of the booth. OK, so here's here's an example. Um, you can see the little blue back there. That's the Cobra booth about two stalls to the right of it is the Cleveland booth. And I went from Cleveland and I walked all the way around to the Mizuno booth. Just enough time for me to uh, just kind of cool off a little bit, not not quite be as warm. There's a lot of people around, so you're not hitting it probably your best. But let me tell you, these were so, so good. These Mizunos were so good. Uh, miss hits still went. They were still pretty good, but not nearly as easy as, let's say, a Ping um, G430 was or a Cleveland Zipcore XL was or even the Callaway Smoke AI. Those were easy. Those were more forgiving to hit, but Mizuno's, they're just... They're just everything. They're they're the gold standard of irons right now, uh, in my mind. Them and Shrixon, but these are the best. Here with Bridgestone Golf, excited to be introducing the new Tour B with Mindset Technology. Uh, Mindset is a unique process. It's a pre-shot routine, which we're delivering to consumers through this visual cue on a golf ball. The first step of the process is identifying your target. This piece of the process is really information gathering, right? So this is the part where you're figuring out the distance, you're determining what the wind direction is and the wind speed and what's happening with that, and then you're determining what club you're gonna hit. The second part of the process, the yellow ring, represents the idea of visualizing your shot path. And that's the piece of the process where you're connecting with the target. And in this part, you know, some people will actually, like a movie, imagine what their shot shape will look like and they can actually visualize it. Other people will see it like as a shot tracker, right? And then yet others still 
will do a rehearsal swing to imagine what a what a draw or a fade swing will feel like. And then once you've ingrained that into your body and become intentional about what, what you want to do, the third piece of the process is focusing on the dot. You're focusing on the dot, you're clearing your mind of any thoughts, and you're releasing yourself, freeing yourself to be free to execute athletically. So that's the part where you just swing away and forgotten all those things. So mindset's coming out and starts shipping on February 16th. Uh, this is new breakthrough process. First time anything like this has been introduced in the golf world. We're super excited to bring it. And what golf balls is that going to be on all of them or just your mindset's going to be available on all four Tour B models, Tour B X, the XS, the RX, and the RXS. So what was kind of the inspiration behind the mindset? Uh, the inspiration behind mindset was we were looking for a way to get into um, the visual technology uh, space. We didn't want to do it with something that was a decoration on a golf ball. We were looking to do an innovation on a golf ball. And we began working with Jason Day and Jason Goldsmith. And those two really helped us to create this process and to bring this to life. Jason Goldsmith is Jason Day's performance coach. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. This is my absolute favorite table that I've seen at the show so far. This is awesome. It's all the parts of your golf club. So, you can see here with this Cobra, you get this kind of power bridge, power shell uh, part, and that's what kind of holds everything together. And then you have your carbon fiber that kind of goes in it. And that's what kind of makes the driver, but most of the weight comes from this chassis right here. Because these pieces, these carbon fiber pieces, are so light. It's incredible. And then that's what your face looks like. So when they talk about, like, AI designed and all the different face shapes, this is what they're talking about right back here. See all those different designs? It's really helping with the design of it. One of the cool things about Cobra is they wrap their face around the bottom, kind of giving what they call a continual face. Pretty cool stuff there. And then irons, kind of the same way you see kind of the, the forging there and the power bridge there. And then there's your face, basically welded together. Pretty cool stuff. The awesome new product line here with the new Dark Speed franchise. So this is the replacement for Aerojet. We have an entire lineup from the drivers, fairways, hybrids, all the way to irons. Uh, in our driver line, we have three models. Um, so the LS, like we've had previously, is designed with the better player. It's our low spin model, um, slightly more compact shape. Um, shorter profile from face to toe, um, designed to create more workability and, and low spin for that faster swinger. Then we have the X model. So this is going to be our core model, uh, the highest volume seller of the three. Um, this is going to be designed for the widest range of players. So all the way from the tour player who's looking for low spin, but mainly for the guy that is looking for a little bit more forgiveness and stability because it's a slightly bigger profile head. Um, we have more adjustability than before with different weight settings in these two models in particular. Um, so in the LS, a lot of players thought that, you know, this head was too low spinning for a lot of players. So we have a new back weight um, to allow people to tune spin um, and get a little bit more launch and spin uh, out of this particular head. And then in the X, if you're looking for stability on off-center hits, but also low spin, we have a new front weight for it, so you can put the heavy weight in the front uh, and reduce spin by up to 300 RPM, um, which is a good option for a lot of players. And then last, this is our probably underrated model of the three. Um, the Max is our most forgiving driver head, so not just for the player that's looking to fix a slice. Um, if struggling with the slice you can certainly fix that by putting the heavy weight in the back and get you know up to 12 yards of slice correction if you put the heavy weight in the back this is going to be our most forgiving driver setting um, you hear a lot of talk about 10k moi that's kind of the the key thing that other competitors are focusing on this year is moi and forgiveness um, and despite the fact that this driver family is designed around speed while everyone's talking about forgiveness, we're talking about speed. We also have forgiveness available for the more aspirational player. Um, so if you put the weight in the back, you're gonna get 
super high MOI all the way up to 5,600. So what that means is you're going to get more forgiveness on off-center hits. So not only on the center, but for those shots we hit high on the toe and, and low on the heel for misses. Fairways, the new exciting story that we have is in the LS model. So this model in particular is going to have a different construction than the X and the Max. It's a brand new titanium construction. Um, you've seen more companies come out with tie fairways. It's been more and more popular on tour as well. Um, titanium allows us to save a ton of weight that we can position lower in the club head. So if I were to explode this internally, you'll see uh, up to 68 grams of tungsten weighting distributed between the heel, toe, um, and forward area of the club. So that's 38 grams of internal weight plus these two 15 gram tungsten weights on the outside. Um, these also allow for more tunability, so you can move the heavy weights in the back um, to create more fade bias, neutral flight, higher launch, etc. Um, so this thing's going to be really a beast when it comes to distance. We saw up to 10 to 12 yards of distance increase compared to our normal fairways. So this is going to be a great option for somebody looking for a driver replacement off the tee. We have a new 3 plus model in the LS line too, which is a 13 degree fairway. So despite the strong loft, because the titanium construction and the weight down low, you're going to be really surprised at how high you're going to be able to launch this club as well. Um, the Max model, so like the driver, it's going to have a back weight and a heel weight, larger profile, a little bit of a shallower face. So it's going to inspire confidence that you can get the ball up in the air. So it's going to be shorter in distance, a little less speed than the LS, obviously, but this is for somebody looking for as much reliability as possible from the fairway or off the tee. So the X and the Max are going to have a stainless steel construction, so a typical construction that you'll find in a fairway. No titanium in these. Um, the X is going to be that core model, so high launch, super forgiving. Um, available in a three, five, and seven. All right, so the dark speed irons, like the entire family, you'll notice that the cosmetics have a really dark, sleek looking finish. So, a real mature look for Cobra. Um, in addition to this being our best looking game improvement iron, I think um, we have a ton of technology packed into these as well. So, a brand new hollow construction. Um, we're one of the only OEMs to offer a hollow design and a game improvement iron. So, imagine you know a lot of the benefits that you'll find in a metal wood construction are now in an iron. So, we're able to make the, the body walls thinner, the thinner you can make the face and the sole, the more the iron's going to flex. So, we're looking to maximize that flexibility for speed. Um, another thing we focused on, we know feel is important in these irons as well, especially for, you know, better players who like forgings, but obviously the aspirational player wants a great feeling iron as well. Um, so we added foam into the cavity, so it's the foam microsphere material is going to be really soft and lightweight. It's going to help with uh, reducing vibrations that you get on off-center hits. So you're going to get really good sound and really soft feel. Not quite like forging at least, but, you know, pretty appealing to the average player. Um, we have the PowerShell face design, which we've been doing for a few years now. So it's an L-cup face that wraps around onto the sole. Um, internally, we have a power bridge weight, which is basically almost disconnected from the entire iron with the exception of a single post that it's holding onto. So the benefit of that is it puts weight down low for launch, but it also frees up the iron body to flex around the weight. Because normally you're limited in flexibility when you have a fixed weight to the, the iron body itself. So really unique construction that helps unlock as much distance and speed as we can. Uh, and then the last thing would be the, the AI face design. So we use artificial intelligence to create a variable face thickness design that optimizes speed and distance on off-center hits. So when you hit the ball on the toe, for example, you're not going to see a dramatic drop-off in distance. So this iron is designed for 10 to 20 handicap, so it's going to be a slightly bigger shape, so a longer blade length, a um, little bit of a thicker top line, more offset than you would find in the Forge Tech iron. Um, but because of this new dark charcoal finish, it's going to look pretty sleek when, it, when you're at a dress. So it's really appealing looking iron for that aspirational golfer. And then we have one length. So one length 
really is a simple concept to understand. It helps create more consistency for the player that maybe struggles to find the center of the face. Um, a lot of players find that a shorter setup in the long irons, they're able to hit more consistent shots. Um, so with one setup and one swing for every iron in the bag, it really kind of simplifies the process. And we found, looking at data, that players who switched from variable length to one length sets um, were able to improve their grades and regulations by up to 40%. So that's real data and kind of testament to how one length can help you be more consistent if you're willing to give it a try.